that some of the people will miss out on living for an eternity with the divine because they didn't want to live with him, with him for 60 years. Some people will miss out on living with Allah forever because they refuse to live with him for a short period of time, ayam ma'adudat. And this is why Abdullah Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said when he died and cried. And they asked him why he cried. He said, because I will leave for a place where I can't fast during the day and cannot pray during the night. So because this is the house where we expre express how much we love Allah. And in the hereafter, he will show us how much he loves us. And this is why, barakallahu fikum, when we speak about psalm, which means hapsul nafs, yani which means to restrain yourself, to refrain yourself, to tame yourself, to stop yourself, to imprison yourself. They say, they asked one of the scholars, ma as'abu anwa'i sawm. What is the most difficult kind of sawm? And he said, as sawmu anillah. He said, sawm from Allah. And he said, Allah knew that some of his creation would not be patient enough now, until they see him, until they meet him. So he created a world that reflects his beautiful and majestic names. So that whenever they feel heartbroken, that they are not close to him, that they just look at his creation to be reminded of him. And this is a sawmu anillah. It's the most difficult sawm. Some of the scholars said the sawm anillah is of al manahij rabbaniya wa nabawiya. Yani it is a part of the divine and prophetic methodology. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the tongue of his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallama made praying disliked or not permissible sometimes during the day. Like between Asr and Maghrib and of course yani there are Ikhtilafat among the ulama when it comes down to salawat that al asbab. But to cut a very long sh story short, we have multiple moments where it is makruh to pray. And the longest period is between Asr and Maghrib. And they, they said, This is yani, so that your hunger for meeting Allah would increase. And this brings us to Ramadan, like I say every year. When it is Ramadan, when it is Ramadan. Never ask, when are we going to eat? But ask, when are we going to meet? Maghrib is not about eating. Maghrib is about meeting. It is about meeting Allah Jalla wa Ala subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is about meeting the Lord Jalla wa Ala subhanahu wa ta'ala. Others said, As'abu uh, sawm. It is a sawmu an tasuma an wasfika li rabbika. It is the psalm, it is the difficulty of withholding and not expressing what you have experienced when you were alone with Allah because it goes beyond what words can describe. And that is where some of the salihin were misunderstood. Because my friend, they say, when you are with Allah, you don't remember your own name. وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ إِذَا نَسِيت أي إِذَا نَسِيتَ ذَكَرْتَ رَبَّكَ وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ يعني you will remind, remember your Lord when you forget. Forget what? Forget everything apart from Allah Jalla wa Ala. And this is why Abu Hassan al-Shadili rahimahu Allah Azza wa Jal was asked. He was asked. They asked Abu Hassan al-Shadili, يعني teach me how to commemorate Allah. And he said, then I first have to teach you how to forget yourself. So, الصوم عن الله والصوم عن وصف الله بعد قربك منه. It is people they, they what they experience when they are with Allah جل وعلا goes beyond words. فهم في روضات قربه يسبحون ويتنزهون. They are diving into the deep oceans of knowledge of Allah Jalla wa Ala. And when they return, they want to explain what they have experienced. Like somebody yani, experiencing something traumatizing and tries to make sense of it. But because it's still fresh in his body, he's unable to find the words to say what happened. And he will so, just say, I don't, it was this, it was that. And it's not possible to explain that emotion. What do you think when creation meets the creator? 
meeting Allah is not at a rational level. In Ilmul Kalam, we rationalize, right? Because that's necessary. We have to protect the way that we believe in the divine. But it's not about how we experience the divine. They said the Ilmul Tasawwuf is Ilmun La Yazul. Ilmul Tasawwuf is a ilm that will never disappear. Why? Fiqh, you need fiqh in akhirah. You need kalam in akhirah. You have ihsan. أَنْ تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ يعني Allah Jalla wa ala, He only created paradise because knowing Him is limitless, but He only allowed those who chose for Him to know Him. Who chose Him because they were chosen. So paradise is there to know Allah, to come back. As-sawmu anillah is the most difficult sawm. It is really that you tell yourself like Imam al-Ghazali mentioned in Minhaj al-Abideen. Like at the end when you have, when you overcame every obstacle in life, the obstacle of sabr, the obstacle of tawakkul, of adam al-tawakkul, the obstacle of, of all these shahawat, the four, the dunya, the nafs, the shaitan, wal khalq. Now after overcoming all of these obstacles and having freed yourself of yourself, you are now in the desert of love waiting for him to take your life because you have now nothing that remains standing within you but that pure soul that literally wants to connect to the Lord because you can't connect to Allah completely in a world where the five senses stop you from reaching him. That is why in Akhira we are different. In Akhirah we are different, different bodies. Our bodies will not restrain us. Our bodies will not stop us. Stop us. We will not know Allah at a rational level in dunya. We will meet Allah, wa gaze upon Him Jalla wa ala, in a way that befits Him Jalla wa ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now to come back. as anillah. Wallahi, some people, they wish to die. Because they say, the only thing between me and Allah is, is, is death. Because I've done everything. I've, I've given my nights. I've given my food, my drink during the month of Ramadan. Ya Rabbi, the only reason why I eat now during the month of Ramadan is because it's obligatory to eat. But Ya Rabbi, if you would have told me to die out of hunger, I would. That is what you're showing in the month of Ramadan. Ya Rabbi, you don't want me to sleep. I won't sleep. I will pray all night. You don't want me to drink, Ya Rabbi, that's nothing. You don't want me to eat, that's nothing. You don't want me to be intimate with my, with my spouse, that's nothing. Ya Rabbi, Thawm is saying, Ya Rabbi, I'm ready to give up everything for you. And giving up for you is not giving up. There is no such a thing as giving up on something for the sake of Allah. It is freeing yourself for the sake of Allah. You're not giving up on anything. When you don't go through your psalm, you're giving up on yourself. But when you do Sawm and Qiyam and Ramadan, and, and then you give up on the ego to be revived to meet Allah Jalla wa Ala subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Ibn Ajiba rahimahullahu tabaraka wa ta'ala in Iqad al-Himam, he said, yani huwa an yuhyiyaka Allahu bihi, yani an yumitaka al-haqqu wa an yuhyiyaka bihi. It is that Allah kills your ego so that you stay alive with him. Just what? With your ruh. الإناخة عند باب القريب وإن ترد is that you keep on knocking on Allah's door even if you're pushed away because you know very well that behind that portal behind that that gate you find connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Sawm is all about undoing you from you and this is ajeeb they say when Ramadan comes it is to remind the lovers of Allah that it's time to eat. Ramadan comes to remind people who don't eat, not just because they're not fasting. Imam al-Nasai rahimahullah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he would, do fa- he would fast every day of the year apart from Eid. That was Imam al-Nasai. Why do you think that these muhaddithun are known like that? Why? Just because they... No, they were chosen by Allah. They were very special people. Imam al-Nasai would fast every day of the year apart from Eid. And on the day of Eid, he would not eat nor drink until five minutes for, before Maghrib and he would say, Ya nafsi muti kamada. Like, oh my nafs, die. Because this is not fasting. Five minutes before yani the sunset, I did not fast. I followed the sunnah. So, I mean, I'm not telling you to do this. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do this. Eat and drink and, uh, and feast. 
I'm just telling you, some people have to be reminded to eat. Ramadan comes to tell the Arifin, to tell the people who know Allah, you have a time to eat and a time to drink and it's obligatory now. It is a bid'ah if you don't eat or drink. Why does it come? Why does the Prophet say, eat and drink? Because then the malaika will do salawat for you. For the low, not low lives, for the weak of iman like myself, it is, oh, alhamdulillah, if I eat and drink, I have hasanat. For these people, it is like, okay, I have to eat and drink. Because you know, the more you know Allah, the less you want from life. And even your body will reject now, that what other people want. And that's why the Prophet wasallam, when they asked Ya Rasulullah, can we do wisal? Yani, can we connect one day of fasting with another without breaking the fast? And he said, Antum, yani, you are not like me. You are not like me and I am not like you. يُطْعِمُنِي رَبِّ وَسْقِينِي My Lord gives me to eat and to drink. Imam al-Baghawi in Sharh al-Sunnah, he looks at it and says, what does this even mean? My Lord feeds me and my Lord gives me to drink. So I'm, yani I'm different. What does it mean? Yani there are more than seven opinions among the ulama. I will just share some of them. So one of them is that Allah literally gives him to eat and to drink. Yani food from al-akhirah like he would do with Maryam alayha salam. أَنَّا لَكِ هَذَا قَالَتْ هُوَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَرْزُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Yani that Allah would just feed him the fruits of Jannah. Others would say it was in his dream. But the strongest opinion according to Imam al-Baghawi al-Shafi rahmatullahi tabaraka wa ta'ala alayhi Yani is that ذِكْرِ لِرَبِّ يُغْنِينِ عَمْ طَعَامِ وَشَرَابِ It is doing dhikr of my Lord suffices me. And takes away my need for food and drink and water and whatever it may be. So this is why Ramadan comes to remind the Arifin to say, look guys, you, you have to eat. <laughs> you have to drink. And, and subhanAllah, and it comes for the other people to say, look guys, it's time now to a bit less dunya, a bit less consumption, a bit less... Of this and that. So it's, it's very ajib if you look at it.